Hey, Andrew Zetz here again. Welcome back to my workshop. Just doing another video about restoring this 18 inch bandsaw built in the early 2000s. And I just wanted to have this video focus a little bit on the bearings. So I'm in the process of, of refinishing it and I'm on the fence about what I want to actually do with these guide bearings. So I dropped the table just to get a better look at them. Um, now this is an early 2000s model it's actually quite different than what you can buy now um oem um, i have here an old uh, 14 inch jet bandsaw and you can see i installed some uh, carter bearings here um, for this blade on both top and in the bottom and Ultimately, this is what you'll get now if you're buying a brand new jet bandsaw. Uh, maybe not Carter brand, but exactly the same roller bearings. It really gives you a nice amount of um, control. You've got a good thrust thrust bearing guide, and you know any sort of side to side motion is going to get arrested immediately, and it really gives you a, a really nice consistent cut without much flutter now in contrast with these horizontal ones while i do really like the the extremely fine tuning that you can get with these horizontal adjustments i'm not really too keen on let's back this out more I'm not really too keen on the idea of of the blade just riding and you know shearing across especially if you have a one inch or or wider blade that this thing can supposedly take i'm also not really a fan of these like sideways thrust bearings you know you do get um wear over time it's not really quite the same thing as having a nice durable bearing that's rolling at the same speed as your as your blade so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and pop these suckers off, clean them up, and give them a tune. The people who owned this bandsaw before didn't own it, or didn't use it very much, so this is a fairly clean bandsaw, but they didn't really tune these guides right. The blade was actually riding on the side of the thrust bearing there, and so as a result, you can kind of see that uh, the metal wear that came from the blade riding on the actual surface of that guide and uh, that bearing and it obviously wasn't really meant to take that sort of force and it wore in a very short period of time. I'm also not really a, a fan of these dinky little screws. They are very difficult to actually use without pliers to really crank on them to the point where you know they're not going to move and that they're very e and they're not very easy to adjust when you do want them to move. So might try to actually just get some hex uh, hex head adjustments and you know something a little bit better. I would buy this Carter brand bearings for this setup, but um, you know I'll price it out right now. They're it's two seventy five, and I've already spent a decent amount of money on the saw. Um, I could easily, you know, spend those bearings and uh, buy those bearings and still come out ahead. But I'm, I just am curious to see how well these work, um, and if I can really get this to tune, tune this to perform well, or you know, if there's actually a reason why none of the none of the later saws actually use this style. So stay tuned, and I'll uh, give this a clean and let you know what I think.